Williams against Conner. Covington dishes to Williams. Pass to Covington. Nene, the screen. Back to Williams. Takes a three. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. That shot was made possible by the work of Nene setting the screen. Now Conley. He's got five. Beyond the arc. Ariza with another miss. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. Smith wide open. He fires. Yes. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. And they're not taking their foot off the pedal. They just keep adding to their lead. Well, it's never a good idea to back off and ease up. And it doesn't look like that thought's even crossed their mind. I love it. And, and you know what? One of the few bright spots in this game for them today. He's kept his edge even though they've been trailing. Timeout called. The Nets. Brooklyn making some changes. Boozer comes in for Nene. And DJ Augustine subbed in for Mo Williams. And Augustine kicks to Covington. Lopez right side. Left block shot on the way. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. For Brooklyn, they have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. Brook Lopez hits them both. Well, Lopez has been great. 12 points, and he's done his job at the charity stripe. He's gotten four of his points from there. And that's a good place to get them. They don't come easier than that, but you've got to get yourself there first. Now a timeout called by Houston. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Hey, Kevin, well, the Rockets coach had some advice for the team over that last break. He was intent on running the offense through Jones. Coach is looking for big things from him throughout the rest of this game on the offensive end. A lot of the scoring burden will fall on him. Well, they need to make something happen before the start of the fourth quarter, and maybe those changes will do the trick, Kevin. Thanks again, Doris. And he gets it to go. Guys, he's shot a very good percentage today, and they've needed it. Nets leading by 14. And Augustine kicks to Covington. Screen by Boucher. Smith outside. Conley against Augustine. Out to the right wing. Covington inside the line. Not enough on that one as it misses. For Houston, they've gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Ariza with the bucket. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. That's got to be job number one right now. Nothing easy on the inside. Lopez inside. Off target with the jump hook. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. There's the pass to Capella, 11 feet away. Carlos Boozer pulls it in. Brooklyn's gone three or four from long range in the game. Boozer is screen on Harden. And Augustine kicks to Boozer. Wide open look, and there's Lopez. That's good on the assist by Boozer. 14 points for Brook Lopez. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Feeds it to Hart. Lots of room. No good. And Brooklyn will come the other way. Augustine with it. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Lopez a screen. Covington passes to Lopez. And it's Brooklyn scoring again. He's their go-to guy. And when he shoots the ball like he has today, that's what the scoreboard usually looks like. Conley against Augustine. Here's Jones, and that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got five assists in the game. Augustine dishes to Boozer. Now the feed to Augustine. 130 left here in the third quarter. And that one's good. And the Nets lead by 16. Now there's something for the top 10 highlight reel right there. A layup can be just as sweet and as pretty as a dunk sometimes. Screen by Jones. Harden, no good. 
Boy, there was no hand in his face right there. I thought for sure he was going to knock that down. Conley against Augustine. Lopez outside. The rebound by Harden. Harden's got three rebounds so far in the game. He dishes it to Conley. Fires the three. The rebound by the Nets. Lopez has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And Augustine kicks to Lopez. 32 seconds left in the third. Smith with it. Conley picks him up. Six to shoot. Here's Covington. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Well, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. Harden outside. Right side, Jones. No good from 11 feet. And we're rolling here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. Here's Beverly. Dishes it to McDaniels. So for Brooklyn now, Matthew Delavidova is out there with Mo Williams. Then there's World Peace. Then there's Nene. And it's Sanders in at the five. Young for three. That is good. Young's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Rockets. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. It's the Nets now. It's a 10-point game. On the wing, Williams. Sanders sets the screen for Williams. Off the pick. It's tipped. Sanders passes to Williams. Sanders with a screen on Beverly. A second chance effort. That's good. Eight points for Larry Sanders. Almost an impossible shot to block in the post. The defender can't give up that much of a height advantage and expect to contest it. Here's McDaniels. He's guarded by Williams. Young with no one around. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. The dish to Delavidova. Kicks it to Nene. Right through the D for the layup. And the Nets lead by 14. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Now a timeout called by Houston. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Yes, guys, over that break, I was able to catch the message Houston's coach was giving to his team. He didn't exactly take it easy on them, saying, how much do you want it? Don't tell me. Show me out there. We have to play better. We have to play harder if we're going to come back. Guys? All right, Doris, thanks. Again, Young missing. And you know what? That's one of those heat checks <laughs> if he's taking shots like that. Yeah, heat check or not, I don't care how hot he may or may not be. He's not making that one. Screen by Sanders. Della Vidova. Excellent defense there from Smith. Rockets trail by 14. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Passes it to Zeller. And it's out of bounds. The Nets will take it the other way. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Now a timeout goal by Brooklyn. You know, I think he just wants to tinker with the game plan a, a little bit. And I think that's a wise timeout. And part of it, too, Greg, was he saw some things going on out there that he didn't care for. Houston's gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. With the teardrop, it'll go, and the next lead is cut down now to just 12 points with the basket from Beverly. You know, the teardrop sometimes is one of those, oh, no, oh, no, oh, yeah, shots. 
Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. And a wide open look for Sanders. No good off the back of the rim. Defense better not make a habit of giving him that shot. I mean, he doesn't miss many of them. Now here's Beverly. T right on him. Pass to Smith. He kicks it to Zeller. Clock is at three. A shot by McDaniels. No good. Nets leading by 12. Pass to Nene. He feeds it to Delavid Oak. World peace on the wing. The kick out to Williams. And there's the pass to Sanders. Another shot. Good. And the nice assist for Williams. Williams has got four assists now tonight. And the interior D is really starting to be exposed here. How many layups have they gotten today? Smith with a screen on world peace. Here's Young. Offensive rebound. It's good, and the Brooklyn leaders cut down to 12 on the bucket from Cody Zeller. And that put back about as easy a bucket as you're going to get. Exactly what happens when you don't box out, Greg. Here's Delavid over. Nene, the screen. Out left to the wing. Wide open. And again, it's Brooklyn converting. Yes, and he came off that screen, and the D just didn't get over the top of it. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge Greg. And when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. And Young, and here we go. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And there's the call. Brooklyn the foul. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Nets. They keep piling up the assists, and they haven't cooled off at all. I've been impressed with how well they've penetrated tonight, too. Looking at who's out there now for the Rockets. Capella's checked in. Jones comes in for Cody Zeller. James Harden, he's checked in for K.J. McDaniels. And it's Mike Conley in for Patrick Beverly. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. And he makes the first. Houston making a switch. Ariza's checked in. And both free throws good for Nene. Can you believe the job they're doing at the foul line since halftime? I mean, they've been perfect so far. Yeah, as cool as can be, Clark. Great focus and efficiency. That's how they built this lead. And, and guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the Nets. Well, the one thing that jumps out in this game, Clark, and uh, Steve's kind of touched on it, is the free throw shooting, which they did a much better job at. Yeah, absolutely a big plus. And oftentimes, Kevin, we've seen it time and time again. Your performance at the line can be the difference maker in a game. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. Yeah, and Greg, when it is just a two-game season series, the team winning game one has that slight mental edge going into the second meeting, knowing they've already solved their opponent one time and only have to do it one more time. A fantastic show. And, and what an amazing all-around game it was for Lopez. He was doing everything right, and the points came in bunches. Definitely had the hot hand. Timeout called the Nets. They lead by 12. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And now that you can tell there's some bad blood here, they're just rubbing it in now by calling a timeout. Yeah, there really isn't much for them to be talking about. This is rubbing it in and adding salt to the wound. And they've just done a great job of keeping this crowd out of the game. And we're getting closer to victory. The crowd's getting quieter. And there's not a whole lot for them to be cheering about anymore. I mean, their guys got it handed to them. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. And he knocks down the first one. Two shots. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Now here is Augustine. And so it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. 
They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. 